Hello, my name is Alessio Bernardelli and I am a Field Development Officer at NGFL Cymru. Today I'm going to show you how you can use one of our Key Stage 2 ICT resources and extend it to other subjects, other key stages and also use it in conjunction with other great software like PhotoStory and Web2 tools like PhotoPeach. So from our website, click on the Key Stage 2 teaching resources and then select ICT and scroll down until you find present it. Open the resource and uh, here you find a lovely resource to introduce your children to storyboarding for multimedia presentations. Click therefore on the main session and here you're given a mission which is to create or plan a multimedia presentation on Wales and if you press the forward button you're brought to this uh, storyboard template that the children can use to storyboard a presentation. They have some default uh, images here that they can choose. For example, if they think they want to start with the image of rugby, that could be their first picture here. Here they can write the situation or the script of uh, the dialogues and narration that they're going to have in this presentation. But also they can choose from different sounds, like this applause, for example. And therefore they could write applause here. Once they're finished, they can print their storyboard and then go to part two. Now they will have their storyboard at hand. Here they can actually start creating their actual presentations. They can enter the text here and they can change the color and so on and they can add those uh, sound effects that we were looking at earlier. So they can then add another slide and so on until they finish their presentation. Now this activity is very good in the sense that it is very very simple for the children to use. It's immediate, very intuitive and they can therefore be introduced to storyboarding and to multimedia presentations in a very simple and uh, quick way. However, I would use still the storyboard uh, tool here to create multimedia presentations with other software because that's probably what you would want your children to do is to then have a look at different software and tools that are available freely and choose the one that is most suitable for them and for their audience. And that's what we are going to talk about in the next session of this uh, video. The first tool I'm going to show you will be Photo Story. To download Photo Story 3, search it in Bing, for example, and the first few results should take you to the download page. Once the PhotoStory 3 software is downloaded in your computer, open it and begin a new story. Then click on Next. The first thing you need to do is to import the pictures that you want in your story. And don't worry if you haven't uploaded the, all the pictures straight away. You can always go back to this step and add more pictures. So we're going to create a very simple photo story. Now I've got four images here, but if I'm not really happy about the order, I could always move them around until I get the order that I want. In the next step, you will be able to add uh, text and cap captions to your frames. And you can also move it at the top bottom or change font, color, size. If we go to the next bit, this is what really excites me. Because on this little box here, the children can write the script of what they were going to say on each frame. And when you press the record button, the narration will be recorded. So for example, this is the NGFL Camry website, and that's where you can access our great resources. If I press stop, I've recorded that little narration. 
And uh, what is absolutely great is that the frame will stay on screen until the narration is ended and then it will pass on to the next frame. Let me show you. If you click on preview, you can actually see what I'm talking about. This is the NGFL Cambry website and that's where you can access our great resources. And now it's moved on to the next step, the next frame. You can repeat, repeat this process for all the frames that you have added. And then when you can click next and you can select some music, click next again, and you can now decide to save your photo story as a movie file. And it, you can make it so that it's playable from your computer, or you can also save it in a format that is suitable for uh, smartphones, for example. So your children could actually upload their stories on their mobile phones and then go home and show it to their parents. This is a fantastic tool and it's very, very easy to, to use. The next tool we are going to talk about is Photo Peach, and uh, this is an online Web2 tool. So it's now Photo Peach turn, and I'm going to show you how you can create a new slideshow in Photo Peach. First of all, upload photos to create a new presentation. Let's open our photos. Now it will take a little while to upload the photos because remember this is an online service. Excellent, all done. I now have my four photos and in the next step we can add some interesting features. For a start, you can click a music that you want as a background. So let's choose this nice country boy music. We can also choose the uh, speed of the slideshow and give it a title. The description, in our case, it would be how to access eChalk from NGFL. And then we are ready to go. You can click on finish and the first draft of your presentation will now be created. And it's very bare. We still have the music and transit from slide to slide. But what I really, really like about this tool is that your children can create quizzes in their presentations that other pupils can use to feedback on the presentation and learn from each other. So if I create this quiz, I can say, I can ask the question, what is this? And then I can give a multiple choice test for my children. And if I want the correct answer to be the middle one, I just click on that one and that will stay as the correct answer, as you can see. So we could say this is a chalk, the NGFL Camry website, or the NGFL website, which is written wrongly, obviously. And if we then click on OK, the slideshow is now saved with the quiz built in. Now I must the question here as the slideshow progresses and I can make my choice in the five seconds I'm given to think about the answer. At the end of the five seconds I have immediate feedback on how well I've done, whether I got the question right or wrong. Also, at the end of the presentation, a great tool appears that allows the children that watch the presentation to leave comments on the peers' presentations, on how they perhaps felt the, the quiz was, whether it was too hard, too easy, or whether they enjoyed the presentation or, or not, whether they could have added more things or done it differently. And the comments will be saved in the presentation. But don't worry, because if somebody doesn't like a comment or a comment is not suitable, the creator of the slideshow can go back and edit the comments and delete them. So it's a great tool for children to make their own presentations, to make their own slideshows with a little bit of a twist and a bit of fun 
with these uh, multiple choice quizzes and the ability to feedback and peer assess the friend's uh, presentations. So I hope you liked uh, the few ideas that I gave you in this uh, video tutorial and that you will have a go at Photo Story and Photo Peach and obviously using our NGFL Camry resources and the storyboarding resource I showed you earlier. Thank you and goodbye from NGFL Camry.